Hello, my name is Sujit Konan. Welcome to this module on waste management. In this module, we will be discussing existing legal framework in India relating to waste management. So the idea is to discuss or to understand briefly the nature, the scope and the source of uh, the legal framework relating to waste management in India. So we will be discussing, we, I mean to put in a different way, we will not be discussing all legal instruments relating to waste management in India. Instead, I mean that's not, I mean within this short uh, <coughs> available time, we will be dis discussing some of the key instruments and their approaches and then the students are advised to look at other <coughs> other available legal instruments relating to waste management both at the central level as well as at the state level. So, we will be also mentioning or discussing briefly some of the key cases relating to waste management in India. And before we move into, before we discuss, discuss the substantive aspects of waste management laws in India, let us try to understand what is the context in which we discuss waste management. And as, as some of the statistics shows, safe management and scientific disposal of waste is a critical issue in India. Some of this, including the government statistics, it shows that approximately 90 percent of the municipal solid waste is being disposed unscientifically or many of this, many of this uh, municipal solid waste are being disposed without treatment at all. And the, the, there is another, another major context is, I mean across India in many places, various public protests are ongoing against these landfills and this, pop, this, this uh, brings into, li in, into limelight some of the key issues I mean relating to environmental justice and equity as far as waste management is concerned. For example, the key question is where are we dumping waste, how are we disposing it, in, which vis in whose vicinity we are in whose vicinity we are conducting waste disposal and management or to put in a different way where these waste are coming and where they are being dumped or whether for disposal or for um, <coughs> just storage. And the major reasons why we are concerned with waste management is its, imp its obvious implications on public health and environment. So, these are the major rationale behind waste management law in India that is to minimize the implications or adverse implications of wasters on public health and environment. So, again I mean what is what is what is meant by the term waste management? What are when we say waste management, what are the activities and stages involved in this process? So, I mean as per the legal uh, legal definition available, it involves various stages such as collection, transportation, processing, recycling or scientific disposal and it also involves monitoring of all these processes. And when we say waste management or the term waste, it, it generally includes waste, waste materials produced by human activity. That means, I mean in these cases generally the, the natural waste, I mean wastes produced by the natural process are, be <coughs> are not included or not in within the mandate of generally within the mandate of this waste management laws. And the major purpose of this waste management legal frame, legal framework relating to the to the waste ma to waste management is, as I already mentioned, to reduce the impacts on health and environment. And another key impact and another key purpose of waste management legal frame waste management process is to recover resources through recycling. That means, I mean, the idea of uh, waste being converted into wealth. That means there are quite a there are there, there could be a number of materials or materials that are that are that, <coughs> that can be reused in the in the waste. So the, one of the major purposes of this waste management process is to identify those materials that could be recycled and reused. So that means I mean to 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 minimize the actual disposal. Now let's try to map take a mapping of the legal framework relating to waste management in India. And as we have already discussed, I mean we are not, our purpose is not going to make an illust or to examine all laws relating to all or all legal instruments relating to waste management. Instead, we will be looking at some of the key instruments and some of the key instruments at, at the central level and the briefly the legal framework at the state level and then briefly we will be looking at case laws relating to waste management in India. So, as far as the key legal framework, key legal instrument is concerned, this is, this is, this, it is Environment Protection Act 1986, probably the most important legal instrument in the context of waste management in India. This is a legislation adopted by adopted at the central level. 
And as we can see from the Environment Protection Act 1986, there is perhaps, I mean, we will not find a provision on waste management per se. This is an umbrella legislation that focuses broadly on, that generally on environment protection measures in India. However, this, this legislation is extremely important in the context of waste management because a number of rules have been adopted under this 1986 act that focuses on different kind of waste. When is a different kind of waste? This has been an approach, a key approach followed under, followed under the Environment Protection Act 1986 because we have different rules addressing different wastes. For example, we have, diff uh, we have a separate rule on legal instrument on municipal solid waste, we have a separate legal instrument on hazardous waste and so is the case with electronic waste. So, in this module, we will be dealing with municipal or we will be briefly discussing municipal solid waste rule, rules on hazardous waste and rules on electronic waste. However, students are advised to look at other legal instruments related to wastes for example, biomedical waste or plastics, plastics to get a comprehensive idea of the legal framework relating to waste management in India. In addition to Environment Protection Act 1986, at the state level, we have uh, two sets of laws. For example, in the rural context, we have Panchayati Raj laws and the urban context, we have law governing urban local bodies. The, the importance of these laws in the context of waste management is these laws essentially contain provisions relating to waste management and these laws inevitably makes it a duty of the local bodies, whether it is, it, whether it is in both in the rural as well as in the urban context to address the issues of waste management. And in addition to these statutes, there, there, are, there are a set of case laws dealing with waste management in India and we will be covering some of the important case laws in this context. And in addition to these, these, these statutes and case laws, we have a, a, a number of policies, programs and schemes both at the central level as well as at the state level dealing with waste management. For example, Nirmal Bharat Abhiyan, which, is, which has been recently renamed as Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. Because while these policies and programs are extremely important, we will not be discussing in detail these policies and programs. Instead, students are advised or strongly advise, encouraged to look at all these policies and programs to get a comprehensive idea about the overall, overall framework relating to waste management in India. As we have already mentioned, our focus as far as the examination of the legal instrument is concerned, we will be focusing on three, three, three instruments. One, I mean, instruments relating to municipal solid waste, electronic waste and hazardous waste. First is municipal solid waste management. So, when we say municipal solid waste management, what are the processes and stages involved in this process? It involves generation, storage, collection, transfer, transport, processing and disposal of municipal solid waste. So, when we say municipal solid waste, what I mean, the municipal solid waste rules have provided a, a definition of municipal, so an illustrative definition of municipal solid waste, which includes food waste, rubbish, commercial waste, institutional waste, street sweeping waste, etc. So, that means, I mean, it, <coughs> the, the, the rule or the legal instrument focuses on various stages involved in the, you know, in the in the eco-friendly disposal and management of solid waste. So, municipal solid waste management and handling rules was adopted in 2000. So, before we get into the substantive aspect of the rules, it is pertinent to mention the role of the, 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 the role played by the Supreme Court in the adoption of the rules. There was a case <coughs> before the Supreme Court called Almitra Patel case 2000 decided by the Supreme Court in, in 2000. And this case is extremely important in the context of municipal solid waste management and handling rules 2000 because the, the, there was a committee set up by the Supreme Court by, uh, in, as part of this Almitra Patel case and this committee drafted a rule, uh, the dra drafted a rule on uh, a document on municipal solid waste management that <coughs> became the foundation of municipal solid waste management rules. So, what we can see is that the Supreme Court played a significant role in the adoption of Municipal Solid Waste Management Rules 2000.